Hi all, in this video I'm going to take a look at doing something cool with the custom constraint and um, motors. So uh, let's add dynamics and then if I just play back, that's what you've got, fair enough. Let's add a constraint. Let's go through to the constraint and then change the type from glue to custom and then the connection mode from connect nearest to connect offset point. Now if I just push play now, uh, the default custom constraint, uh, if you can see down here, um, the default um, settings for the custom constraint are under limits and they are positions fixed, rotations free. So that means they can rotate in any axis, but they can't move. They're not allowed to move. If I set these all to free, then rewind and play, you'll just see that these things just drop. Okay, so the constraint's actually doing nothing now, like absolutely nothing. And um, so it's not useful to be able to see these constraints. So I'm just going to turn those off, right? So um, constraints fall into the floor, constraint is doing nothing. So let's make the constraint do something. Um, we're going to do, uh, use motors uh, for this example. So um, we're going to enable the rotational motor. And then I'm just going to set a keyframe here. Um, add, sorry, add some more um, uh, frames to the playback range. So let's start here and then say frame 100. Let's go back one. Uh, let's set a target speed keyframe. And then in, say, the next frame, let's set a target speed keyframe of, say, uh, 30. Okay, um, now if I just uh, rewind, play, and then let that go back. You get something interesting happening. There's a rotational motor effectively started on these objects, and they're going to start rolling forward, or trying to roll forward. Now, there's, um, you have to forgive my um, crap graphics card in there. Um, it's uh, resulting... Um, rubbish shadows. But if I um, just change this key value to say something like 80 actually instead, um, see that it's slightly more enthusiastic. Um, I'm going to increase the friction on the ground plane to make this better and then I'll increase the friction on the mash points as well. Okay, now if we rewind and press play, we've got this. which is pretty cool. So like in a few clicks, you can set up a really cool animation. So, um, and then, yeah, that's kind of how you would make marching cubes with, um, with uh, Mash's dynamics and constraints. So we're not actually using the constraints to do anything constrainy with them. We are using the constraints to, um, to enable us to use the motors. So uh, I'll just give you another quick example of that. So if I don't save on that and then, if I just create a mesh network, um, and then I will just create some offset scale on the x-axis here. I'll make them slightly wider as well. Go create mesh network and um, add dynamics to this, and then constraint. Go through to the constraint, change it from glue to custom. Uh, the rotation from uh, to offset point, and then if I um, turn on that motor again for the um, x-axis and put like 50 in here and then uh, set this off, you can see that we get these things turning around. Um, so if I then was to create a mesh network from like these spheres, um, if I move this upward, Like so, and then just to make this dynamic. And they get hit by those. So that's not the most inspiring example, I appreciate. <laughs> but that is kind of um, what you can do with motors. So, um, and how you know you, you can set them up. So by default, I'll just reiterate that The constraint, the custom constraint, whose settings live under limits, uh, is fixed positions and free rotations. So if you want to free up the positions, you need to set these to free. Um, and um, otherwise, um, oh, I'll tell you what, I'll do something else. Um, what I'll do is I'll show you what would happen if you had limited movement. So on this uh, mesh network, first mesh network with the constraint, let's uh, turn the motor off. So we get that, okay. 
because it's custom constraint the fixed positions remember but they can rotate if we set the rotation uh, x to be limited um and like put like 40 in here or something like that you can see what happens there you can only move 40 odd degrees and then they stop moving okay so for this situation we do not want any z rotation at all on that so there you go so then they just settle up uh, we could actually change this to a spring uh, constraint actually if you wanted this to um, arrive back where it was so then it will settle back to where it was um, on the spring constraint there you would want to change the um, uh, movement range to something much smaller so that oh <laughs> and there's the um, y-axis as well where we've got uh, free movement there which you might want not free so so that's how you get that to um, return to normal you just um, change the spring constraint change the spring constraint and then just change that movement range down um, to nothing and then yeah there you go cool okay well hope you found that useful see you in the next vid